What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to another edition of the Deep Dive. As we kick off the month of May, let's hope we're just a few more months away from the start of some indoor lacrosse. To college we go, where the careers of Mac O'Keefe and Trey LeClaire unfortunately came to an end in the Big Ten quarterfinals. LeClaire will leave Ohio State as the program's all-time leading point getter, scoring in his final 36 games. Mac O'Keefe finishes his NCAA career as the all-time goal scorer throughout college lacrosse. 221 goals, 66 games, good enough for 3.34 goals per game. We want to congratulate both Trey and Mac on outstanding college careers, and we cannot wait to see them when they get out west. Time to check out the social scenes and see what the fellows have been up to over the past seven days. Last week, we talked to you about the reunion of the bromance between Eli Gobrecht and Wes Burt. In the Premier Lacrosse League, Eli was traded to the Water Dogs. Unfortunately, just a few hours later, Wes was shipped from the Dogs to the Chaos. Bromance over. Lucky enough for Wes, the Chaos already include Austin Stotts, Mark Glassini, and draftee Matt O'Keefe. I'm sure. He will not have a problem fitting in with the red and black. Last week during the NFL draft, it gave us all a chance to poke fun at Casey Jackson and his calves. Well, lack thereof. It's a tale as old as time. It's a good thing Casey can take a joke, but maybe he should start hanging out with Reese Dutch and get some calf lessons. And what do you think about these socks? We have a super fan of Cam Holding and Wes Burt. During one of the Junior Seals practices over the weekend, one of the junior players whipped out these incredible socks with the faces of Cam and Wes on them. I do believe I need a pair. Over on the Seals pod, we have a gem of a conversation with the Greer brothers, Bill and Zach. We talk growing up in the hotbed of Whitby, Ontario, their championship wins and losses, and even had time for some trash talk. And at the end of it all, we played our version of the newlywed game. Take a look. What's up, everybody, and welcome to a fun little game we're going to have here. I'm joined by Billy and Zach Greer. Gentlemen, this is going to be like a little newlywed. I'm going to ask a question. You're going to answer either yourself or your brother, whichever pertains to the question. All right, here we go. First one off the deck. Who wins in a fight? One, two, three, go. Oh, all right. We're going to have to have a battle when we get to Pachanga Arena. Uh, second question. Who's dad's favorite? Oh. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. All right. You got Billy on that? Not a chance. Wow. Like, I don't know about that. We're going to have to ask. We're going to have to ask the family members deep inside who was the favorite at the time. Uh, next question. Who's the better athlete? Three, two, one. Wow! Ooh, I gotta give it to I'm only up. saying that, Teddy, because I'm a phys ed teacher, and that's my that's my life, day after day. But uh, the dude, the dude just strokes three pointers because that's all he does all day. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever, if you ever saw, you ever saw Billy run cross country in uh, in in high school, and and you ever saw me attempt to run cross country, you'd know the answer to that question. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, next question. Whose kids are cuter? Three, oh, oh, two, oh. one, go. Oh, that's a good, that's, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. He, he's being really, I mean, my kids are, you know, adorable, but you should see his blonde hair, blue eyes, like the three of them are pretty, or something. I've seen them. It is a pretty stunning family. Yeah. A uh, couple more here. Who is the better student? Three, two, one, go. Oh, what was your GPA, Zach, when you graduated? Uh, graduated Duke. Sure. 3.0. And what was it when you left Brian? Uh, probably about a 3.0, right around there, yeah. <laughs> what about He's you, being really? honest, Teddy. This guy was like a 95 high school average. He was just... He's a smart kid. All right. All right. We'll let it go. Last one. Who's most likely to pack up the family and travel the world? Three, oh. two, one. 
Oh. oh. Let's go on a big giant family vacation together then. Ooh, I yes. like that. I'm in. Yes. Yes. Once the yes. borders are open, we'll get us all together. We'll get Can a we... couple of camper vans and go for a drive. Can we talk about that question though for a second? Yeah. It, because I've lived in the US for how many years? And <laughs> how many say. how many times have you come and visit me with your family? It's been it's been way too long. I knew you were gonna say that too. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah, that's an easy question there. That's an easy uh, answer. Gentlemen, I appreciate your time. This has been a fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll talk soon. Likewise. Thanks, Thanks guys. That'll do it for another edition of the Deep Dive. Don't forget, check out our socials at Seals Lax or follow all the information on your seals on our website, sealslax.com. Until we speak again, stay safe and dive in.